Hi, my name's Mike, and today we've got the latest two messages from God given to Brother Byron Searle. They're called, the first one's called Bloodthirsty Nation. It was given on July 28th, 2019, uh, but it was originally received on the 5th of the 18th, 2019, but it's now released on the 28th of July. Uh, Psalm 55, 23 is given, but thou, O God, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live only half their days, but I will trust in thee. And this is the word given. My son, many nations can be called bloodthirsty. It's over that, and multitasking here again. <laughs> Feeding little Leo at the same time, so excuse me if I pause from time to time. My son, many nations can be called bloodthirsty. Definition in the brackets, eager for a or marked by the shedding of blood, extreme violence or killing, murderous, homicidal, violent, sadistic, warlike, bellicose, bloody, and carries on. And as time comes to an end, the nations will get more bloody. This is nothing new. Hmm? Prior to the flood, all men partook in bloody violence. Men kill men for sport, sacrifice their children in bloody rituals. Men do the same thing today. Nothing changes because Satan has not changed. Satan hates you and me and all creation. He controls men in high places. And he places his bloodthirsty thoughts in their mind. He was there at my trial, making all the people shout, crucify him. My son, this nation has replaced Rome in the violence it promotes around the world. My children are blind to the fact that this nation He's talking about America, is the revived Roman Empire and as and its military might is being used to bring nations under submission. My son, just as the Romans who lived in Rome did not see anything but a strong empire, and if Trump had been emperor, his motto would have been make Rome greater. My children, the nation's thirst for blood will come back to this land as war that will bring much blood. What shocks you when now when you see blood flowing out of a body will be commonplace and you will be numb to all the death. Why am I allowing this? To bring a self-indulgent fat baby of a church to her knees in repentance. You have been taught you will escape persecution. Am I a respecter of peoples or nations? Do you think America is so special no one will be persecuted? You fools have been so deceived. Be ready for the blood will flow in the streets of America very soon. I love you, but I hate the sin in my body. Blood will run from your knees from being in repentant prayer. Amen, Lord Jesus. Uh, Quite a powerful message, that one. Um, And here's the final and latest message from God given to Brother Byron Cell. It's called The Door. It was given um, on the 29th of... um, July 2019 scripture given John 10 7 to 10 then said Jesus unto them very again verily verily I say unto you I am the door of the sheep all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers but the sheep did not hear them I am the door by me if any man enter in he shall be saved and go in and out and find pasture The thief cometh not, but to steal and to kill and destroy. I come that I might have life and they might have it more abundantly. That they might have life and have it more abundantly. I'm hungry, hungry. Okay, Revelation 3.20 Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in and will sup with him and he will me. And this is the message. My son, I am the door, and all who go in to the door find rest. There are many doors that present themselves to my children. Some doors open unto uh, blessings, some open to more trials, testing and trials. Everyone must remember that I place the doors in your path. They are there for a purpose, to slow you down, to allow you to seek my direction for your, your life. Sometimes, when given a choice, 
and my child does not seek me, the wrong door is chosen. The door could open to a tragedy in their life. Someone may pass away, someone could lose their job, someone's child could go out into the world. These doors present the opportunity for me to work miracles in your life. If you seek me on what to do and where to turn, I will direct you by my Holy Spirit to, to my word for directions on what to do and how to pray. My son, many of my children pray, but they pray amiss. And I cannot move on those prayers. My Holy Spirit will guide you in all things. That includes how to pray. When you are not sure, pray in the Spirit, for He knows what to pray. My children, as the judgments intensify, it will be imperative that you all know how and what to pray. Uh, the doors in your lives will seem to be too many all at once, but pray which door should I open first. My son, soon the world will erupt in fire and many people will only have one door to open. Death. If their hearts are, are right with me, the door will open to eternal light, bliss. If their hearts are far from me, the do door will open to eternal separation. My children, the door to eternal bliss is easy to open. Repent, ask for forgiveness of sin and come follow me. I will come into your heart and make you a new creation. My Holy Spirit will fill you and you will be led in a new direction. Come, follow me now while you still have a choice. My son, many doors are now opening. War is coming to the world and America. My children have gotten fat and lazy, but soon they will feel my hand of judgment and be presented the door of choice. Read my word and get in shape or stay fat and lazy and perish. I'm telling you now, my people, your hearts are not ready, and many will stand before me saying, Lord, Lord, didn't we do this and this in your name? I will say, depart from me, I knew you not. My son, I am the door, and no man comes to the Father except by me. All are welcome to come to the door, but few will come in. In these last days, many will turn from the door and walk away into the world. Those my heart aches for, knowing that by my death I will set them free, yet they walk away from eternal life, life eternal, that I give them, to them as a gift. I am coming very soon, and I will open the door and gather all my children to the greatest feast ever in all the world. Tell my children to keep their hearts in order. Stay in my word daily, stay in prayer daily, and pray that the Holy Spirit leads and guides you in all truth. Be not deceived by the lying king, nor his prophets. I love you. Amen. Messiah Jesus. So that's the end of the message. Just want to say anyone out there who hasn't come to the Lord Jesus, please do so in prayer and repentance. That's a goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from my partner, little Leo. Say goodbye, little Leo. I think he wants his food. Uh, God bless. Bye-bye.